So my name is Ricardo Partida, and this is Pasiva Toxica at New Image Gallery. So the name of the show is Pasiva Toxica um, because I thought it was a um, really interesting way of kind of like um, portray this like toxic passivity or just like this uh, femme fatale uh, genre of like work. So um, I've been working on this kind of like body work for the past, uh, I want to say like two years. And um, I'm really focused on this idea of kind of like the villain or like the queer coded villain and like the narrative. That's how I kind of like build up these characters. I think of them as like the fag fatale or like the kind of like queer fatale in a way. And um, I, I think it's just like a, a, a way of kind of like asserting dominance in the space as well as like just kind of like building like unusual or unconventional ideas of power structures. For example, like in The Power of Girls, like we get like him and we get like Mojo Jojo and how they're very like queer coded in a way, like they have like thigh high boots, they have like the like long like opera gloves. We think a lot about like vampires and like this idea of like the count. We often like associate the feminine with like the evil and then like the masculine with the heroic. So all of this is just like things that I have like an interest in that I like um, stumbled upon when I was like uh, focusing on my practice and just kind of like trying to like link my practice in the way that I could correlate with like art history and my interests. So the name of this painting is uh, Sticky Buns and um, I really wanted to kind of create like a kind of like morphing of like a hentai while also kind of like referencing like um, like Alex, painters like Alex Katz and just like definitely like more contemporary uh, work. Um, and I thought it would be really interesting to just kind of like play around with a, a composition that could kind of like wrap around and create like almost like a swirl motion, as you can see. I also wanted it to be like sexy and in a way like kind of like cheeky. Yeah, yeah, I love it, I love it. Yeah, yeah, I, I notice all the paintings are staring so strongly at you. Right, yeah, I feel like um, the gaze is something that's like very uh, important in my work. Um, I feel like the gaze is something that really I utilize when I like um, navigate through like heteronormative spaces. I feel like as a very visibly like queer person, um, sometimes like the gaze can really like inform me of spaces of like uh, places where I'm wanted, where I'm not wanted, as well as like moments of like danger and sometimes even like desire or seduction. One of the things that I really like is the way that uh, the figures with the colors and the poses kind of like draw you in and almost kind of in a, in a very like inviting, almost like um, only fans, like, uh, like preview content way, but then like definitely push you out again with like the gaze. Aggressive or kind of like um, menacing tropes. Like I guess like the slanted, like angry eyes or like sometimes even like They'll have like sharp claws or like things like that. Tell us, I noticed there's little hearts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just a, a motif that I've always really liked, like doing little hearts. Um, growing up um, in like a Latino household, I remember I would often like kind of get berated for like carving into my furniture with little hearts. Okay. So I just think it's really funny to, for it to kind of like correlate with like my practice now. I think, I think, uh, I don't know, there's something like kind of like Brad's doll about it. These kind of like hard motifs that can sometimes like be like found. And then I feel like I think a lot about like my hair too and just like little things like that. A lot of people usually uh, talk to me and they're like, the paintings of you, like they sell portraits, but I don't consider them self portraits. I consider them like kind of like hybrids and like, um, I don't know if you've ever played like a video game, like a fighting game and you get to create your own character. So often like building these up for me like feels kind of like creating like a hybrid or like kind of like a character that I get to like mold and project fantasies onto. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. Tell us about your Instagram name. Baby Boy Painting. Yeah, it's yeah. so clever. Uh, thanks. I don't know. It's just something I came up with when I was like early in college. Why is it important to paint characters like this instead of just shapes and colors? Um, I find them um, really fascinating to look at, but also at the same way, I feel like um, sometimes like representation, like it's really important for me, like to be able to like uh, have like bodies that are necessarily like unconventional and like um, classical, like uh, uh, practice, like or classical painting. So like we start to think of like bodies of color and we start to think of like kind of like 
unconventional ideas of like gender expression and the way that that could kind of be formulated or like articulated into a piece. Um, I feel like those things are very like um, important or just like can really like set an impression on you when you're in a space that you're not really like used to like feeling like an important part of like it's like a set of values. So like sometimes seeing work like this kind of like allows you to kind of like see your narrative or like yourself plugged into like these uh, characters. Um, so sometimes like they will resemble me, but then I do try to keep that kind of like ambiguity of like, is it me? Is it a character? Is it a, an avatar? Yeah, yeah. I, they definitely pull you in and sort of seeing the characters represented. Like, uh, I can imagine what a character of yours is going to look like now. So when I see yeah, yeah, one, yeah. I can kind of tell that it's yours and it, it, it creates almost like this storyline that continues to build. It's super yeah, amazing. Yeah, I always think about them as just kind of like different interpretations and almost like suits that I can wear to kind of like sometimes even tell a story or just like project, like as I, I mentioned, like a fantasy onto like uh, a picture.